So before I start showing you this um, design, I just want to share a course that I am running um, with the amazing Emily Yafai. It's on the 3rd of June this year at Rosington Hall in Doncaster. It's an acrylic design course and all the pictures that you can see coming up now are different things that you'll learn. So your summer acrylic designs, um, using all coloured acrylic, all different sort of techniques and styles. Um, so if you're interested in this course, then just comment below, uh, below this video and I will give you some more information. So onto this set, I've done all my natural nail prep work and applied my CJP square tips and then, then cutting them with my stalk scissors to quite a thin coffin ballerina shape uh, and then when I've done this I will come in with my file and just refine that shape so just refine those side walls make sure they're nice and straight and nice and neat refine my free edge and then just blend the wings of that tip in just so it's nice and smooth and you've got no little bits of tip that are still sticking up Then remove all dust, apply my CJP dehydrator and acid primer. I'm then coming in with CJP crystal glass and using my big boy brush to apply a thin base layer of clear to all the nails. This just gives me a smooth base to work on and also gives me something to file back to when my client comes back in for a redesign. And this particular client does have bright nails all the time. Um, as you can see there's a little bit of staining there um, she did have to go to someone else for a last set uh, because she couldn't get an appointment with me and they used a coloured acrylic but didn't put a clear base down so stained her nail bed So on this nail, I'm coming in with an orange colour that I mixed myself using CJP Mango Tango Pumpkin Pie Innocent and Snow White. So just apply that at the tip and fade that down, nice ombre, and let that set. This nail is a mixture of a few colours. So the purple is um, a lilac colour. I can't remember the brand. I did mix it up myself. Uh, the lilac with CJP Snow White and some Innocent just to add a bit of a shimmer. Uh, come in with the orange again, just butting up to the purple. And this nail is going to be a background as well for some 3D nail art and some crystals. Then come in with a pink that is literally a mixture of all sorts. I mixed a bit of pink in with some of the orange and some Snow White. And when I'm mixing my own colours, I mix tiny little bits and then test to make sure it's the colour I want because they can look different in powder form to when they do when they're wet. So just apply those in sort of diagonal lines next to each other. Sort of quite random, really, no set routine to it. And then come back to the first nail, the little finger, and apply that pinky colour again. As you can see, it is marbling a little bit because I mixed it with white, but when you drag through it and smooth it out, it takes that marbling away. So just smooth that over the orange, a nice ombre. Just add a little bit more orange in there 
and fade that back working quite wet when you're doing this so they fade nice and smoothly I then come in with the glitter planet glitter rainbow bokeh uh, this is a stunning sort of iridescent chunky mix if you go to the glitter planet website you can get 10% off your order using my discount code pilgrim10 so I then come in and cap this nail in crystal glass, applying quite a large bead at the cuticle area, getting it all tucked in around your cuticle, using your brush as a barrier so you're not touching the cuticle, and then just walk that bead down the rest of the nail, cutting off any excess at the end, and then just smoothing over and neatening that up. And then add any more in my apex area if I need to. Then come back and cap this little finger. So this nail is exactly the same as the little finger, it's just a purple to pink ombre. So again, apply that purple at the tip, nice and wet and fade it back. Apply your pink in your cuticle area, really pushing it up into that cuticle and keeping your brush behind it as the barrier and it also makes sure it's nice and flush. I then come in at the tip on this one with a purple glitter that is from Bang Good Nail Supplies. Fade that back into the pink and then come in with the Glitter Fairy uh, pink from the Indian Summer Collection. This is my favourite collection at the moment from the Glitter Fairy, I absolutely love it. And I'm just picking that glitter up with a tiny bead of crystal glass so I'm not adding too much bulk. And then just wash over with a tiny bead of clear uh, and then come in with some um, angel paper just applying that in shards and just pressing that into the acrylic make sure it's nice and flat So on this nail I'm using crystal glass to come into the Glitter Planet Rainbow Bokeh Glitter. Just applying that all over the nail, um, just pushing it and placing it with the tip of my brush. And then come back and cap this whole nail. So once I've capped this nail, I'm going to let it set a little bit and turn slightly matte and then I'm going to come in with some netting um, to do the sort of imprint design. So just smooth that clear acrylic out, make sure it's nice and even. Let it set a little bit, dip the netting into your clear acrylic and then push it into your um, acrylic. In really gentle obviously I cut a little bit of this out while I was waiting for it to set but you want it to go matte if it's still tacky 
then it will just pull your acrylic out and then be really, really gentle when you're teasing it out. Don't just pull it all up because it will pull the acrylic out. On this nail is the same as the little finger, just in the opposite direction. It's coming in with the orange at the cuticle. Again, as you can see, I'm getting that brush right behind that application so it's nice and flawless at the cuticle area. There's no big gap and just fading that up and then coming in with the pink at the tip and then I'll come in with the glitter when I'm happy with that blend and then also cap. imprint nail I just apply random uh, sections of the different pastel colours just really pushing it into that imprint being really it can be really messy because this will all be filed away to reveal the design just make sure you get that acrylic pushed right into that imprint design if it's not all the way through you will just file the colour off So onto my filing, it's my usual filing technique, starting off at those side walls, refining those, making sure they're nice and even and neat. Then refine the free edge and then come round and contour those side walls, really tucking that file in and contour round your cuticle area. Again, tucking that file right behind the application. Obviously being careful of your client's skin, you don't want to catch them. And round and contour the other side and hold the nail flat and the file flat against the nail and just run and smooth over that whole nail working from side to side. Make sure you're checking your angles at all times to make sure your apex is in the right place and your application's nice and neat. And when I'm happy with the file, then I just come over with a white block buffer.
And then on the imprint nail, I'll just do exactly the same. I come in and refine my shape first of all. Obviously it will look a lot bulkier because you've put acrylic all over the top of your nail. So once I'm happy with that shape, I come in with a stronger grit file just to really get that colour filed off and reveal your imprint design. So then wipe over with acetone, remove all the dust and then come in with my CJP Tack Free Top Gloss. Applying a nice thin even layer to all the nails and then cure in my Sun UV Sun 4 lamp for 60 seconds. And when that comes out I'm going to apply some nail art. So for the 3D nail art, I'm using CJP Snow White and my Purple Mix and my CJP number no. 2 brush. So I pick both those beads up on my brush at the same time, place it on the nail and let it go a bit matte. Cut into it and then turn my brush around, keeping the point in the centre. And no, you can't see this bit, which I apologise for, but when I move on to the other petals, you can see. So you're just keeping your point in the centre of the petal and just patting out from side to side. So as you can see there, place the bead on and let it turn slightly matte. Cut into it and then pull either side out. Remove all the liquid from your brush. And then turn your brush around, keeping your point in the middle and pulling that petal out nice and flat again giving it some movement you don't want it to be all neat and really rounded because flowers naturally aren't like that again cut into it and push those sides out remove the liquid and then pull it out and flatten it all out And then just keep working in into the centre. And you just 
letting it go matte so that when you cut into it, it doesn't bounce back. Again, just pushing that out. Again, sorry for the camera angle here. I didn't realise my hand was in front of the camera. And just keep working your way in, making the beads a tiny bit smaller as you come in, but not too much. And then pushing that round. And you can't see, again, at this angle, which I apologise for, but I'm just pulling the edge of that petal round so it comes into the centre. So this is like the centre of the flower. And because that brush is a nice sharp point, you can really work that acrylic. cleanse over that top coat with some prep spray plus ready for some crystals and i'm using a chiara sky dip base so we'll just apply a really 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 thin layer and then i'm picking up the crystals with my crystal katana and just sticking them into that um resin and you need to work really, really, really thin. I can't stress enough how thin you need to work with this glue, otherwise they just won't set. They'll just slide all over the nail. And then just let give it a good five minutes to air dry. And then apply your cuticle oil. And here's your finished look. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.